Hey everyone, talking about Pomelo Riviera by Atelier Desor. And this is a bright, citrus, clean, fresh scent that also gets a little more green and gardenish as it dries down. I've been wanting to think that an Atelier Desor fragrance is full bottle worthy because they just have such beautiful bottles. Some of them they even have gold flakes in them. Not sure if you can really see here, but there are some gold flakes that made it even to this de decant. But while this isn't full bottle worthy for me, I do really, really like it. So the notes in this are grapefruit, jasmine, bergamot, orange flower, salt accord, rose, and cedarwood. And the opening is bright, juicy, and tart. So refreshing for a hot day. We're just really uplifting and invigorating to smell. The florals here are so smooth. They work perfectly with the citrus. It does not become overly feminine leaning. It's very unisex overall. To me, it's like evocative of clean laundry drying on a backyard garden clothesline in the sun in the Mediterranean surrounded by grapefruit trees. Now, as it dries down, it does become more green in a very gardeny, almost vegetable-y way. And I still like it during that phase. It doesn't get earthy style vegetal or anything, but it is a little bit more soury green, kind of like going from the grapefruit to the grapefruit peel sort of thing. Some people in the reviews even said it smelled like celery to them. I do not get that part, but I can see how it definitely changes. This is not linear, and be careful what you wish for, because people use linear as an insult, but then you get things like this where it's just so drastically different, and maybe you're left wishing that that earlier part stayed around. Yeah, especially it's a little bit more floral in the test strip, but even then, again, I still feel it's pretty unisex, and on my skin it gets a lot more almost like a woodsy green vibe to it. Uh, this goes for 225 for a 100 mil. I mean, when I'm taking into account too that the bottle is just so cool, the gold flakes thing, I totally fall for that shtick. Yeah, I don't think that's the most unfair because it's really nice scent and a lot of these type of niche neroli orange blossom-ish type of scents go for much more. So if you like the idea of one that opens with that really bright juiciness and then becomes a lot more green as it dries down, then I would recommend sampling this for sure. I'll put a link in the description where you can get a bottle or a sample.